All right, fellas and gals and guys and gals and dogs and creatures. Uh, I went down to Home Depot, bought some aluminum foil back foam here. Over here I've got my uh, strips to go on the outside of the door to seal it. And uh, what I plan on doing is taking this foam, cutting it right down the middle, that'll give me a two foot section and cut it down this in the middle and that'll give me a two foot by four foot piece and my foam door I think are 47 by 20 or something like that let's see what I got here about about 21 20 and 3 quarters about not quite 46 45 and a half so I'll have to trim each piece to cut to fit in here. Now, instead of cutting one large piece and fighting it to get in there like I've seen everybody doing their videos, one fella got a solution. I'm gonna do like him. I'm gonna cut the piece to fit, then I'm gonna cut it in half. Put half in, then put the other half in and do that all the way across. All of them have a slit down the middle, but that's not gonna matter. Just in case, I bought some aluminum foil back tape and I will be taking and putting that aluminum foil back tape down here and across the top and the bottom. I don't know that I need those, but it can't hurt. So that's the plan. I've got my first sheet down here on the floor. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it in half then half it again then custom cut, measure it and custom cut it to fit that piece and uh, I'll be back with you in a moment. guys okay well I don't know if it's gonna show up on the screen or not but one panel's in Whew. only 15 more to go <laughs> but I'm gonna go inside and take a break because my sweat band is saturated and my back screaming at me and I need a rest now to get these in without crushing them all up I had to cut them a little smaller to fit in there so I will take and put the tape along this top edge here and along this bottom edge here and uh, coming down along this edge and I don't think I need it on that edge because I've got an inch and a half of it back up almost two inches back in here so that's the first one we will pulse for now and come back in a little while and uh, well when I'm done with all of them I'll show you the rest of it there's no need you watching me cut and trim and cut and trim and paste and cuss and everything else that I do. So uh, we'll be talking to you in a little while. Okay guys, uh, just a real quickie. I wanted to show you something else I'm doing here. On the back side, the cutoff, the three quarter inch cutoff, because my door panel is an inch, and a little over an inch and a half. And they say you need an air space for maximum efficiency on these things what I'm doing is I'm taping pieces of this cut off back here to hold this off the door itself three quarters of an inch and that should help uh, that's, hold on I dropped my mic <laughs> that's what I did on the first one and it seemed to work so I'm going to do this on all the rest of them so I just thought I'd show you that little tidbit back with you shortly well guys <laughs> As you can see, I've got three panels installed, one, two, and three. <laughs> I went inside, took a break, and I'm sitting on my throne. <laughs> and they come to me. You know, I told them guys when I started this that I was going to cut these panels in half instead of fighting, putting them in, and put one half in and put the other half in and tape down the middle. Well, as you can see, I have not done that. <laughs> Oh boy, 
sometimes I really wonder about myself. And then I think, well, surely I'm not the only one in the world. But then again, <laughs> anyhow, <laughs> I'm going to cut the next one and see how it fits half and half. <laughs> Back with you in a little while. Well, now, I've got to admit, <laughs> that sure was a whole lot easier. It's, I don't know if you can see it, it's split right down the middle here. <laughs> and that went in so easy compared to the other three that I fought with. Ah, boy, I couldn't even see myself doing that here. Let me do it again. Ah, jeez, what a dummy. Okay, the rest of the panels will be split in half. Will be installed in two pieces per panel, just like this last one was. And uh, I've got to lay the wood down on the floor, cut it up, and get it ready to go. So I'll be back with you shortly. Okay, guys and gals. Now, some of you wonder why I'm saying guys and gals all of a sudden. Well, I was informed recently by one of my viewers. Uh, the other set that uh, the girls watch some of my videos too one or two of them so not be exclusive be inclusive of everybody guys and gals it is anyhow i've got the bottom two panels done all the way across and i've got to where'd my chair go i gotta sit down but uh if you decide to do something like this in your garage, don't be like me on the first three panels and be stupid and fight it. Uh, cut those things in half, put half in, put the other half in. You can run a piece of metal tape down it, uh, air conditioning duct tape, and that'll fill the gap. Or you can just leave them you can probably be all right just leaving them the way it is now i do have on the back side of all these panels three quarter another three quarter inch piece uh stuck to the back side to give that air space in there that they everyone said on youtube that you had to have so anyhow there's the bottom half finished and that's all it's going to get finished today the top half tomorrow ought to go easier. There are little to no obstructions in it that I had to deal with on the bottom half here. Plus the panels are, they seem to be a little bit shorter by about an inch, inch and a half. I need to double check my measurements tomorrow when I start cutting, but uh, my wife brought that to my attention. She says those upper panels look shorter. And she took the tape measure out and sure enough they were shorter in height I should say or, uh, yeah height not width but height so I think even with the broke piece that broke off and flew off down the road I may I may have enough to finish this thing tomorrow I hope I don't have to go buy a whole nother sheet if I do then what's left over from that sheet can be put to use as a foam cutting table or board for sawing and stuff put it underneath whatever I'm sawing and run the saw down it and let it cut through the foam. Uh, I can use it for that if I have to. But boy, this has been a chore. I left out this morning about 9.30 or so in the a.m. and went down to Home Depot and bought all this stuff, came home, got out here around noon or so, started, and this I don't know, something around 5.30, quarter to 6 right now. The heat of the day, as usual. And boy, oh, Heidi, I'm tired. I'm war slap out. There's not a dry stitch anywhere. I know I joke about humidity being 180%, but boy, oh, boy. Uh, they forecasted the weather to be up in the upper 90s today. 6, 96, 97, 98, somewhere up there. And my house it was probably 120 plus 200 percent humidity <laughs> things seem to get multiplied around my place but anyhow we're done with the bottom two panels and uh, i'm going to clean up and bring the car in put it to bed put the garage to bed 
and uh, we'll start again anew tomorrow on the upper two sections of the garage door and uh, when that's done we'll sit back and wait on my larger air conditioner that they say in their advertising will cool up to 700 square feet we will see now what I plan on doing and I'll have to cut into one of these panels over here but that's not a problem probably one of these two or this one up here I will cut out where the exhaust for the air conditioner exhaust out I will cut out the aluminum part of my garage door and you're gonna say oh my god you're gonna have a big hole in this on this door well no not really on the outside I'm gonna put one of those exhaust grates that you can buy to cover whatever size hole I cut I'll screw on that exhaust grate uh, find leftover paint when they painted my house four years ago paint that great great the same color as the garage door and that uh, shouldn't be hardly noticeable yet I can still plug in plug in my uh, hot exhaust from the air conditioner and let it exit out of the exit out of the garage for all of you folks that have been responding to this effort and my other failed effort with the I beams uh, I've replied back to most of you on a personal message but no there is no window in this garage this is a cement block or cinder block construction with a brick facade on the outside and uh, the only way I can exhaust something is out under the door or through the door there's no windows so I can't put in window air conditioners I can't run exhaust out the window that doesn't exist uh, <laughs> I can't tell you the number of comments I got about that well just run it in the window put it in the window well if I had a window I would I don't so I can't uh, enough of my belly aching I again appreciate everyone that watches my videos I thank you very much uh, if you haven't subscribed I would ask that you do my subscriptions for me hit a milestone uh, all the way up to 150 didn't think I'd ever do that but I've hit it now if two or three of you don't get pissed at me for what I've said just now and unsubscribed and hopefully it'll keep climbing of course I got a laugh my daughter got all excited 150 wow and I said well yeah but this guy over here has got 380,000 subscribers <laughs> kind of puts things in perspective doesn't it but what I do is not uh, cut out for everybody most people care less about home construction or building or DIYing so uh, I look at some of these videos with these high subscription rates and I wonder what in the world these people see you know selling panties and selling bras or selling God knows what or some idiot out on the road doing stupid stuff but anyhow that's just my opinion when I say some idiot they're probably not but it's just I look at it and I go wow you get that so get off my bandwagon here in my soapbox <laughs> I thank you again for watching. Uh, that's it for today. This is a DIY woodworker. We will talk to you again soon.